Well, greetings, chat. Happy Sunday. Well, wait a minute. This isn't Sunday fun day. This is even uh, a, a Monday. The day's got all got all fucked up. A little bit, uh, a little bit of an issue. Hopefully, it's been worked around. I think. I think we're golden. I think we're good to go now. Uh, you may or may not be aware. The last stream I did got interrupted in the beginning. Internet went down for about I'd say a good thirty minutes, and then the preceding few days or the days following that, uh, intermittently. Every time I'd be doing something, not tweeting or talking online, suddenly it would go down, talk to the internet service provider, and they said, oh yeah, we see some weird stuff going on, we'll give you a call back, we'll give you a call back with a great solution. There's no solution. It's a, a you know, unplug, unplug your uh, modem router and leave it off for like two days, and then maybe, maybe you'll get a new IP, and then you won't be fucked with. So I found my own solution. Luckily in the area that I live in, there are like six service providers. So we've got a, a fully dedicated streaming service provider. And I think I think we'll be good to go. I think everything's going to be golden going forward. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to talk about. A lot of, lot of things moving forward. But I'll, I'll read a few super chats here before we jump into it. Uh, let's see what we've got. From Lucifer Love Monkey, IRA dues. Uh, very true. This is OG Say More Homie. How are you going to stream when I'm training new hires and I can't watch it live? Also, if you play the Blues Clues mix again, I'm going to send a hook this chat. I like the Blues Clues remix. And what I mean by I like it is, well, I do like it, but I, I probably do need to find more original music. I'm not, I'm not at the production level that Ralph is at where he's got all this fancy shit set up. It's just me doing it on my, my outdated version of OBS. So hopefully that, uh, that will make do for now. From Skeleton. Hail victory, hail the coming Imperium. Fash Bandicoot, press S to spit on the Hebrews. Oof, got that one around uh, Got that one around Google. I'm not sure how. I'm sure they'll add that to the list. Sir Shane 63 where's my dad? It's been 18 years and Uncle Todd won't stop making me wear wigs and poking my innocence with his pee-pee. Please save me from this heck. Got one from Kiwi Farms, and that actually leads into one of the things we're going to be talking about. Snake Thing is in jail for animal abuse. Featured thread. Good luck with the stream and welcome back. That is correct. One of the uh, fur fags from the Zoo Sadism leaks has been arrested. He has been uh, he has been got, and Kiwi is very pleased with that. In fact, we've got some footage from that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him.
they got him, boys. They got him. They they rounded him up. He's he is currently currently awaiting uh, whatever happens to a furry when law enforcement gets their hands on them. I'll give you a, from one of the posts in the thread. I can give you some info that they posted publicly. Uh, one of the officers apparently they have the case number and everything, but they're not they're not giving it out right now. But he's been booked on the following charges: sexual assault of an animal, animal neglect, animal abuse. However, this might not be uh, all he'll end up facing. There will be a full investigation before it goes to trial, most likely. Uh, his devices were seized by the police, and his family was apparently not hiding him. Uh, this person says that his mother handed him over and is quoted as texting something to the effect of, he deserves whatever is coming to him if this is true. Now, Snake Thing was one of the one of the main players involved in the Zeus sadism thing. He is the person that Caro was talking to. Uh, let me see if I can find some choice some choice quotes from this disgusting fuck. Ah, uh, this was yeah. This guy was into some weird shit, but he is he's been picked up now. I'm sure Caro is sweating bullets right now as we speak. He's probably probably hiding inside his fur suit. It's all musty and sweaty. You can hear the police choppers above him. I mean, the fact that this guy's devices were seized that you know they have their hard drives and the, uh, all his uh, fucking consoles, his phone, his computer, all that shit means that uh, if any of these other well-known furries were into some really fucked up shit, if they were trading CP, if they were trading animal abuse photos, if they were talking about hurting animals, uh, they're fucked. The police will share that information with other with other uh, <laughs> police stations. It could lead to more arrests, so it will be interesting to see how that, that plays out. But he has been... He's been napped. No more, no more fucking puppies in the forest for this piece of shit. He is... He is in police custody and probably going to get nailed for a couple of things because if I remember right I think this was the guy that talked about sending um, salacious images of his nephew to other people I'm not 100% sure but I think there, there's so many fucked up people involved in the Zeus sadism thing it's hard to keep track of which one was doing what but uh, not a good day not a good day for the furry brigade that was defending these people oh I can't wait to see what they find on this fucking person's hard drive I cannot wait to find out what the police find in that thing. Think of all the conversations that took place outside of the app, the uh, social media thing that they were using. Think of all the conversations and all the shit they traded and all the sites they used. Oh, it is a dark day. It is a dark day for our friend Kiro and company. Can't blame it on Iranian super, or super hackers anymore. No, it, it is. It, it, the jig is up. Your time has come. The police are ready for you. I don't even know what they do to fur fags in jail. I, I, I don't know where you rank on the totem pole, to be honest. But since a lot of this seemed to involve child molestation, a lot of people are going to get beaten, I would wager. Uh, a lot of people are going to be assaulted in cell blocks, I would wager. Chat seems to like it. They like it. It's a good day. A lot of yiff and hells. A lot of yiff and hell fur fags, I'm saying. People are enjoying it. Yep, poor, poor snake thing. He thought he could just be an open degenerate and nothing would happen to him. He could just do shit to animals and kids and just, just frolic his way through the fucking internet. And now he's been arrested. And there are probably more arrests that are coming around the bend. Ugh. Oh. In fact, you know what? Let's let's just take a walk down memory lane. Again, if for those that are interested, uh, since Kiwi Farms did super chat it, it is their featured thread in Animal Control. You'll know it's the right one because it's Levi, aka Snake Thing aka Nelazar. But let's take a look. Let me see if I can find some choice bits from the shit that they used to talk about. <sighs> Where's... I, I could have sworn this guy had one word there. He was the one that was always like, duh! Somebody could... Uh, that, that's who he was. So somebody could say the most atrocious shit to this guy. Be like, I'm gonna go out and hurt children. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna blow puppies' heads off and then fuck the brain matter. And he'd be like... Duh, aw, oh, hugs, colon three, that, that's who that guy was, that was, that was this fucking retard, at least I'm trying to, I don't have, uh, I didn't keep this, oh, here's, here's one from Snake Thing with, uh, Snaggy Nativus, I guess, hey, you really do need to fuck, I can't, he's so blatant about it. this guy is so fucked, um, from Snake Thing, hey, you, uh, you know what? I'm going to put this up on, on screen. Well, hold on. Hold on a second. Let me window uh, display this. Window capture. There we go. Here's one of the uh, one of the conversations. Hey, 
you really do need a kid to fuck. Let's drug blank and hump his butt. Smiling face. JK, JK, JK. Mmm. I don't think the drugs would be needed. Perhaps. They may not, although it'd loosen him up a bit so it can be easier to enter him, a lot easier. You'd be able to get in quite deep, I'd imagine. Well, speaking of getting into uh, things quite deeply, I think your cellmate, Tyrone, is going to be quite deep in your ass snake thing. As you clutch the pillow and cry, thinking about how ironic it is that now you find yourself in the situation that Name Redacted apparently found themselves in. Except there's going to be no mercy for you, because Tyrone's not going to drug you first. He doesn't want you to loosen up, he wants you to tighten up. It's a good thing you can make animal sounds, you yiffing retard, because you're going to sound like a wounded animal as he fucks you around that six foot cell day after day after day. Do you know what salad tossing is, snake thing? I hope you like the taste of shit. Because you're going to be tossing a lot of salads in cell block C, snake thing. It is not going to be a pleasant fucking stay at the penitentiary for you. <laughs> oh boy. I do not, uh, I do not uh, pity you or envy you. <laughs> You've got a hell of a time coming up, buddy. A hell of a time. So now he's sitting. He's sitting. He is, he is ready to go for arraignment and uh, whatever else they're going to do to him. And I'm sure there are going to be more charges added. If the ridiculous shit that he was saying, there's no way they're not going to add more shit to this. This fucking guy, I swear to Christ. Okay, so that's your update on the Zeus Adism thing. One guy's been arrested. Hopefully more will follow. I'll keep you updated. Uh, once it hits in the papers, I'm sure it's going to hit in the local papers. You can't, you can't read a story about a guy fucking decapitated puppy heads and, uh, and not want to write about that for the local community. So, we'll see how that goes. But as more comes out, I will update as that happens. From Exiled Postman, show us the submissions for the art contest. I heard some of them are really good. Also, it sucks you got doxxed and DDoS, man. That's fucked up. Uh, we'll get to the art stuff and uh, what we're doing going forward. Uh, but let me catch up on this stuff. The Jeffersonian DDoS-free, let's be honest. If you're really getting DDoS, you'd have to call your ISP and ask for a manual reassign. Nor would you announce the DDoS attack was working. Again from the Jeffersonian... Just admit it, James Tristan O'Shaughnessy. Kesha came to your house to turn off the power and you didn't have enough Super Chat money for the power company to turn it back on again. Here's some more. Uh, no, I, I really did get nailed. But and like I said, I mean, the stream has been going well so far. I'm not having any audio issues or anything else. So I think my dedicated streaming solution works. Even though I only stream once a week, but fuck it, whatever. I'll use it for gaming, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Timothy Reaper, this stream had better be worth the wait. If not, I will burn your potato f <laughs> potato fields. Oh, Saints Begora. From Half Blind, my name is James Patrick O'Shaughnessy, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. Happy boy. Sorry, guys. Can I get a shout out to a fellow white potato nager? Uh, sure, there you go. From Mikhail. Oh, shit. Hold on. Uh, sorry, folks. I'm readjusting here. Where the fuck did it go? Okay. From Mikhail Mansbridge, that native uh, that native Tonka is going to get violated like he's in a residential school. Andy coming down with a big, long dongson. From Umtu Mado, are you familiar with Hampshire? The scientific pursuit of underwater hamster objectivism. Plastic brick automaton guy has been putting hamsters underwater for a decade? I'm 70% of his Patreon funding. I, I don't know if you're just fucking with me or not. Um, yeah, let's let's look that up. Why not? Plastic? What do you what do you mean he's drowning them? What is he doing exactly? Plastic bridge? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me let me find whatever the fuck this is. I'll, I'll give it. I'll, I'll give it a few minutes to see if I can actually track this down. Scientific pursuit of underwater hamster objectivism. It's so long form. Oh, there, there's a fucking website. Okay, let me let me see what this says. The scientific pursuit of underwater hamsters. You weren't kidding. There really is a fucking website. He is really putting hamsters underwater? 
Why? What is he doing? Okay, hold on, let me screen share this. All right, window capture. All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to I Choose Hampshire. Um, it's the underwater hamster website. I'm looking at a cache of the page. I Choose Hampshire, the scientific pursuit of underwater hamster objectivism. Sad news from Thursday, September 13th, 2018. Rip George and Scott. I went on vacation recently, leaving a certain roommate in charge of feeding my hamsters. In retrospect, I should have not entrusted him with the task. I arrived home to find them dead in their cages because he had forgotten about them. Because of this, I've had him evicted. I will be holding off on buying new hamsters for a while to mourn the loss of George and Scott. They were very old, at least, and lived full lives. Still, it's an infuriatingly senseless way for them to die. I will admit, I thought that when it said Rip, George, and Scott that they had died in their lake expedition. Lake test. While on vacation, I took the opportunity to test out the life support gear <laughs> with a real habitat in a real lake. Depth of four feet, power coming in from solar panels, or, or average 39 watts. Power draw from the air pump and heaters, total eight watts. It looks like I was overly conservative in prior estimates. Wow, he's really going into this. In the summer, at least, this should prove to be more than necessary by a long shot. It's nice to have safety margin when lives are on the line. I believe this is, this is the fucking ha underwater hamster. He built Rapture for hamsters. Not much to see underwater as I kicked a lot of sand and debris walking around and placing the habitat. I didn't get many photos as the battery ran out as soon as this, and I forgot the charger for specific types of camera batteries. Fuck you, Olympus. Let me charge your camera the way I charge my phone. This one's a bit more clear. The debris cloud is settled, but it's a bit off kilter. Still gives a good idea of what conditions are like in the lake and what sort of scenery a hamster knot, a hamster knot, would see outside the habitat. He's really doing this. He's got videos to do this. Possible locations for the mega hab. So, uh, it, I, I, want, I just want to see. I want to see him shove hamsters underwater. I'm gonna be honest. I have a Patreon now. Here it is. Several of you have suggested I set one up to attract more. F I'm, I, I think I might actually fund this guy. I've never given money to somebody else's Patreon. I might, might actually fund this son of a bitch. Well, now it's up, and with any luck, the best is yet to come. I, I don't know, chat. Should, do you want to see the video of the hamster knots? Maybe this is not something that you're... <laughs> it's an obvious joke. I don't know. It's a lot of dedication for an obvious joke. I just want to see this motherfucker build an underwater hamster uh, utopia. <laughs> it's powered by solar panels for no fucking reason other than just to do it. I do. I do, Chad. I feel bad for his dead hamsters as well. That's uh, very sad. I thought they died in the pursuit of science, but apparently it was a lazy... Uh, fuck off roommate that didn't do what he said he was going to do, which is which is kind of shit. Seeing a lot of yeses. Uh, Alright, let me pull up one of the videos. We'll see what we got. We'll see if it's any good. Okay, I, I, I'm going into this blind, so I don't know what we're going to be looking at here. Uh, let me pull it up. Just give me one second. Alright, let's take a look at the underwater hamster enclosure that this individual is going to want to do. Welcome back to Hampshire. Wait a minute. It's not underwater. Oh, what's happening here? I'm angry and confused. Let me fill you in. I moved, as you'll know if you follow my blogspot page. Uh, there's some good things and some bad things about that. One of the bad things is that my cost of living has increased. Um, I'm living in a slightly nicer area now, but more importantly, here's the here's the good thing. Uh, I'm now. <laughs> what did he like? This looks like it's glued on. I don't even. I don't even know. What am I looking? He took a tackle box, or like a see-through lunch box, and he glued on. He, he glued on another bottle on top of it, and then filled it with a bunch of dirt and food. <laughs> Now living near three different bodies of water, if you count a river as a body of water, I'm, I'm living near a wetlands. I'm living, which is just kind of a big, it's adjacent to a huge pond. Uh, I'm living next to a lake. Well, let's start. Following as, the, so as in U the YouTube channel, you can send a dollar a month my way or more if you're so inclined. But really, just did <laughs> did he take a Timex watch and just glue it on the front of this fucking cooler? 
Like, now they'll know what time it is. Because it's dark under there. You're not really going to get a lot of sunlight buried under the ocean. So they need to know what time of day it is to keep their habits, apparently. That's a very professional operation. I really want to get this in the water. Uh, I, I now have a suitcase battery and a 102 watt folding solar panel to power the compressor nonstop day and night. So I, I have all the shit I actually need in order to power this off grid indefinitely. Um, incidentally, I, you'll also notice the robot I was going to use for Project Earth Rover. I would love to finish that. I mean, I now have the solar. He's going to give the hamsters robot tanks. I think I really like this guy. I'm going to be I'm going to be honest with you, chat. He's going to build an underwater rapture for hamsters and supply them with fucking robotic tanks. So I guess they can go fight fish. I don't know. I'm not sure what they're going to do with robot tanks underwater. Why would a hamster need a robot tank underwater? I would none of this makes any sense to me. And that's the beauty of it. Who is the guy that super chatted that? Let me, I need to find, I need to thank this guy. Uh, umpty, umpty Madu, uh, thank you for exposing me to this wonderful person building hamsters, robotic tanks to troll, uh, <laughs> to troll or fight. I don't know, go to war with trout. I don't know what they're doing underwater with them, but it's fucking amazing. Uh, for those, I guess, that are interested in following the escapades of, uh, hamster knots, uh, that is a blog spot called uh, Hampshire H-A-M-P-T-U-R-E uh, it's called I Choose Hampshire the scientific pursuit of underwater hamster objectivism I wish him luck and I'll probably go throw a couple bucks at him just to see if he can build a functioning hamster city at the bottom of some random fucking lake I don't know it's, it's pretty fucking good though alright that was a that was a slight detour but we'll continue on uh, Joa Wa Almer, groom me harder, daddy. Hashtag Sweetie Squad. Terry Cole, Terry A. Davis used his stand. Crazy train. Arthur Mercado, Jemmo, take your shekels, you indignant scummy faggot. You earned it. Lots of love. From Alex Murphy, Moo, Martin Putnoris, probably pronounced it wrong. Some gold for your pot, or some gold to your pot, leprechaun. Atheris, Daddy Jim, please purge all furries with fire bands. Blue Satoshi, Gamergate 3, hashtag worth the wait. Colin Stevens, Donga Tribe attack Jim. Jim Tribe standing in remains of Donga Tribe, Metal TP. Donga lose magic fireplace and super berries to Jim Tribe. Donga Tribe roll out. Yeah, there's been a lot going on with uh, with our Metal Buffalo Warrior, Donga. Uh, we've got an art contest. Uh, I do have all the entries. I, I've got them all organized. I'll put them into brackets to be voted on. We've got uh, the fight that's coming up. Uh, Andy Worski and uh, Donga are going to be fighting each other in, I think, Tennessee on January 19th. And based on what Andy said, I, I guess he's going to also fight Atheism is Unstoppable, as, where, as well as Terra La Rosa. Now, I, I, you know, I put my money down on Andy to win against uh, Donga. I don't know about AIU because I don't know how fit he is or if he fights. But I, I could pretty much tell you point blank that Terra will fucking kill him. If he ever steps into a ring with Tara LaRosa, she will fucking murder Andy. So it's very brave to set up three fights like that all at one event. I'm very proud of him. It'll be a hell of a show, Andy. Uh, <laughs> just be a, just go full Ippo. You know what I mean? Dempsey roll those fuckers. They'll never see it coming. Uh, now, this is mostly a test stream. I just wanted to make sure everything works. Everything does work. Fantastic. So I can stream normally now. This Sunday fun day, we are continuing with Sunday fun day. That is going to be the Donga art contest. It's going to be two things. It's going to be talking a little bit more about the fight with Andy and Donga and some of Donga's other dumb shit. The art contest is one of the main focuses. And then the entirety of the other half of the stream is dedicated to David Shitrat. No more interruptions. No more bullshit. I've got a stream that can't be taken down, at least hopefully for now. And I should be able to survive a few days. To cover David Shitrat and his autism post and his pee peeing and his poo pooing and needing mommy to clean his butt and starting a war with the alt right for Lauren Southern's vagina. And the fact that where's the $10,000, David? Where did the money go, David? So we're going to be covering all of that. As for the skeptics, as for the smuggling crew that exists out there, I am doing a full video series on them. 
I'm taking my time with it. It's going to be polished and researched and nice. I'm not going to put up any definitive dates because then I'm dancing around them. But it's just going to it's going to come out. It's going to be like that guy with the glasses if I if it hadn't been a uh, poll choice where I just really wanted to do it. And I really do want to do this one. So I think that's going to be fun. But as for the art contest, because the Super Chat brought it up, uh, that is this Sunday. I've got all the entries. I, I mean, I guess if you have a late one, you can still tweet it at me. But uh, we're sitting at about, I think last count was like 65 pieces of artwork. So a lot of people drew a fuck ton of shit. Uh, there are some that are really, really, really fucking good. Uh, I don't want to bias anybody. Uh, but my personal favorite involves a leprechaun and I, <laughs> it's like a golden yellow monkey. I, I can't really go into great detail, but uh, that one made me laugh probably hardest so far. But that will be coming up Sunday. So Sunday art contest, Donga and the fight for Super Berries. And then we're all pure, pure David shit rat. No more, no more escaping. No more, no more interruptions. And when I say interruptions, it, it's a fucking common occurrence. I can't, I can't do something online without some retarded shit happening and coming up. But I'm just going to swat it away. Swat it away because I don't know what kind of divine intervention David has around himself. <laughs> so I need to fucking do it while I still can. But I'll give you an example. Like this shit. This has just popped up today. This is from Thomas Ellington. Come on, you fucking queer. At Mr. Antibully. I don't know why he's going after my good friend, Mr. Antibully. It's very hurtful language, Thomas. Come on my stream and lie about me to my face, you piece of shit. Seems a little seems a little heated. You will not ever face up with me one on one, Mr. Anti Bully, because you're used to directly facing people who are obviously shit, and you use my name to further your objective to get to Tonka, regardless of the truth, and I am coming after you. I'll smell you coming, Thomas. It's gonna be hard for you to sneak up on me. You know, it's not just that ninjas wear all black so they blend in with the background. It's that they don't smell like they haven't bathed in five days. You know, we have more than one sense. We can hear and see, but we can also smell. So I don't know if I'm really intimidated by you coming for me. I think I'll survive it. Now, for the audience out there that's wondering, what does that mean? Why, why do you say that? Well, here's my guess as to what this is about. Thomas had a stream where he got really drunk. He left his mic on at the end of it. Uh, his wife came in and said a few things. Um, I'll play you a very short version of that. It's like a minute long. I don't want to don't want to drag it out too much. Other people have played it. But just for the people in the audience that don't know what it's about. Also, warning, the audio sways back and forth quite a bit on this kind of shit. So if you're using headphones, here's a heads up. The audio could go really silent and then really loud. But this is Thomas and his wife drunkenly arguing when he forgot to turn off his microphone. <coughs> What are you doing? Why haven't you taken a bath? Wow, it's recording right now. There's no resuming content without the result. You need to go take a bath. I ask you in the morning and you don't get around to it, which means you say you're going to do it. I wait all day for you to do it. And the next day comes and the day and you still haven't done it. I never, I didn't have seen anything about it ever. Well, you know what's funny? You stink like shit. So the fact that I have to tell you that you smell like shit and that you're stinking up the fucking house and you're making me sick every time I have to smell that shit that passes through. Well, you said at first you've been doing that all day and all of a sudden you're bringing it out. Bringing what out? How do you, you feel about... uh? Smelly ass fucker? Yeah. Piece of shit? That's yeah, rude. Fucking rude. You're rude. Fucking stinking up the house and making everybody suffer because you don't want to take yourself a fucking bath like a grown adult. That has to be at least a hundred dollars off the, the 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 romance carrier account. That was pretty harsh. Spicy stuff, spicy stuff back there. Hey, go after go the harsh snowman must not account there. That's probably a good way to do it. I'm getting back this. I'm getting back this chair. You're not using this chair anymore. You're stinking it up and you're ruining everything. Well, isn't that how people use everything? They have to stay up and use everything. Get off. Uh, there you go that is a very short version of the conversation that went off uh, yes he's a stinky boy he's a little bit smelly lots of nicknames Smellington P. 
people went with. Uh, I think one was uh, Thomas the uh, Stank Engine was another one. There are lots of good nicknames out there, but a bit embarrassing. <laughs> a little bit embarrassing when your wife says you smell so bad. You're ruining furniture. I don't, I don't even know how that's possible. You have a barrier between yourself and furniture called clothing. So if your smell is so horrendous that it seeps through your, your boxers, your underwear, and your jeans, and then permeates and it gets down into your actual fucking furniture, that it's so terrible, it's so awful, you're actually ruining furniture permanently that your wife has to come in and say, no, we have to burn this in the front yard. It smells too much like your balls. That might be a problem. So uh, the audio comes out. <laughs> he gets, he gets, uh, he gets a lot of shit. He gets a lot of shit. Uh, but now he's saying, "Oh, you, you use my name." No, I had mentioned that he had done a stream where he talked about having docs passed to him, and then even more information. Really weird shit. That's what I brought up. And that uh, you know, Tonka had said he got a folder from Ellington. So I don't know what kind of information Ellington gets and then passes on to other people. I don't think that's unfair to state. But I think what he's really mad about is uh, my uh, girlfriend uh, used a Twitter account and uh, took some shots at him. Now, she's been blocked out of her own Twitter account because, of course, she can't last more than 20 tweets before they drop a ban hammer on her ass. But I don't think he liked getting shit-talked by her, and I think he might be upset. That's my guess as to what's going on. So when I say distractions pop up regularly, that would be the case of a distraction popping up regularly. But he's coming for me. Thomas the Funk Engine, that's a good one, too. <laughs> Toxic Thomas. There's there are a lot of them. A lot of them. Lots of people already had a chance at this. Uh, it's been out for like a week. I mean, it's good. it's old news at this point, but lots of interesting nicknames. I'm glad chat enjoyed that. I yeah, I don't know. It's a brap that never ends, chat, would be the correct assumption on that. Okay. Where, where was I? I? I've lost my play. Okay, that was the Colin Stevens one. William Burner, Potato Niger Supremacy. They will never get our lucky charms. Hashtag blinch, bl <laughs> drink bleach Sargon. Harsh words. Mr. Suck My Balls 32, we got 2.8 Sargons watching. Common people, let's give the stream more likes. Let's show Papa Jim he groomed us good. From HTRTU, 400 watchers equals one Kumite. Three Kumites equal one Sargon. 1.75 Sargons equal one Andy. 2.5 Andys equal a kill stream. 1.5 kill streams equal a pig stream. Three pig streams equal one gym. I actually don't know because I don't have the window open for how many are watching at the moment. I couldn't tell you. It's an afternoon stream that was thrown up at the last minute, so I don't expect very many. But we'll continue. Thank you for the exchange rate, HDR to you. Uh, William Hurt, we got to find more music for Jim. Yes, you do. From Weedle, welcome back, Hitler. Alice Era, 2101. Here's a few dollar hair, or here's a few doll hairs, so you can get some new music. I will probably do that. Quetz Chapin, use this donation for cocaine only. Thank you. From Merlot Williams, welcome back, boss. Christopher Grimm, never give up, never surrender, unless offered lots of money. From Michael Campbell, did you catch yellow fever again and spend three days in the hospital? Uh, no, I did not. No, I did not this time. Reluctant realist, shout out to www.autoadmit.com. From Jack Maverick. This is the best birthday gift. Now, only if Anime Outsiders could get their podcast back up. Love your content, and God bless. All right. I'm not sure people people are throwing things at me right now. What, are, what is chat saying? Uh, 12K, 13K, number one trending on YouTube. Well, if I'm, number, if I'm number one trending on YouTube, let me pause Super Chats, and let's talk about, I don't know, crazy people. Let's let's talk about this guy for just a minute. Uh, when I first saw his mugshot, I was kind of convinced that he actually painted his hair on. I want you to look at the top of the scalp and tell me that doesn't look like a dude that actually painted. You know, like how uh, Mexican chicks will remove their eyebrows completely and then like tattoo or paint on eyebrows. That looks like his head. It looks like he removed the hair from his head and painted it black. And I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. I can't really say. I'm sure Ralph will cover all this shit more in detail on his show. He's more political than I am. You got the suspicious packages showing up everywhere. You've got all that shit going on. But people track down some of his social media shit. 
and comments that he had left uh, on different you know uh, news sites and different websites. And I think this I think this is my favorite response. He was writing like multiple paragraphs right to people in comment sections on different news articles, and some guy just walks in, bare naked Islam of all people. He's like Caesar, please don't post in all caps locks. Can you call, can you calm it down a little bit, buddy? Can you can you hey base Megapede? Can you calm down a little bit? Can you can you just back it up, back it up, and take a breath just for a second, just for one fucking second? Could we calm down just a little bit? In fact, what was somebody? Well, let me see if I can find this really quick. Somebody tweeted me something in relation to his name that I thought was funny, uh, that they had up on. I think it was like poll. I'll see if I can find it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and the guy's name was Caesar Sayok. I, I don't even know how to pronounce the last name right. S A Y O C. But if you, it's an anagram. If you take this dude's name, Caesar Sayok, and you you play around with the letters, it literally spells out a accessory. So like, they're going like, this is the biggest false flag we've ever seen. The dude's name is literally accessory, and it's just everything about it's weird. So I don't know. I'll let Ralph cover that. But if I'm number one trending for a moment, let me just fuck around for a second and talk about this weird ass motherfucker with a painted head. I don't know why he did it, but apparently head tattoos are the thing now for people that can't make pipe bombs. All right, where where where, where were we? Uh, Hiram Wood, welcome back. FLC camera, uh, Jim King of the stream. Black Comrade, morning from Australia, Daddy. Uh, morning to you as well. Justin Dakota, or DaCosta, sorry. I've been following you forever. Love your stuff, and I need those hats, Jimbo. I don't know why people keep asking me about hats. Go buy a black hat, get a white marker, and there you go. Collective Consciousness Controlled. You don't have to tell me what happened. You do have to read these. Hands you a bowl of super chats. Did you find me drunk on a, uh, on a bus bench in the city and bring me back so I could read these for you? I, I, I used to have a clip. I was like from, I, it was two Japanese people, and I don't know if they were actually enacting that copy pasta, but it's a chick wakes up and the dude just brings her a bowl of eggs, and it's the most surreal shit. Uh, again, from Colin Stevens Donga Tribe lose fight to 380 Leaf Tribe. There we go. Zemeckis Lebowski, hail big daddy Jim. Diablo Samurai 1985, boss stuck at work, can't listen. Either way, welcome back, boss. The world has been acting like a bunch of shit heels without you around. Black Knight Jack, I just wanted to say Sargon can't beat shit rats head capo because they've hated each other, or can't be, I'm sorry. He can't be uh, shit rats head capo because they've hated each other for over two years now in case you wanted to go down that route. Michael Rodriguez, top of the evening to you, Mr. Shaughnessy. Here's some shillings for the War on Skeptics war chest. What are some of your favorite liquors to enjoy at the end of the day? I'm one of those guys that if I'm going to drink, I'm going to drink to get drunk. Uh, that I've always seen that as a purpose because I'll be honest with you, alcohol tastes like shit. There's nothing really super enjoyable about it. And I know there's some people out there, oh my God, this wine tastes great. No, it tastes like shit. Oh, I love the taste of beer. No, beer is pretty awful too. So if I'm going to drink, I'm just going to drink to get drunk. And there's nothing quicker or more thorough to do than just straight vodka. This good old paint thinner Karkoff in the plastic bottle vodka. Now, if I want to get fancy, uh, I, I for whatever reason, I might have a White Russian, because White Russians are pretty fucking great, or a Scooby Snack, on rare occasions. But, uh, but aside from that, just usually vodka. From Jake Hand, don't let the gay op blitz get you down. Hashtag resist. And on 373-48814, reminder that ML Poll will rise again. From Trues, use Scooby-Doo rap song instead of Blue's Clues. That's uh, sacrilege, Trues. HTRTU, press K to gas the kikes. Now, how the hell... Okay, so you're telling me that you can type that out, but the the Google moderator bot or whatever it is, was it Pakistani or Paki or what was it that they were kept fucking removing? I don't know what I don't know what Google is doing anymore. If they're just playing around with the algorithm to see like people's reaction to it, or if maybe it was like some just rogue programmer or engineer in his off time thought, hey, this would be kind of funny. Let's see what happens. From the Agarith or Ag Agrolith. Turn off ICMP and your router gym. From Winnie Depu, for your new ISP and to keep the internet retards in constant fear. Michael Rodriguez, any thoughts on the recent Star Wars backlash? No, I don't really follow or follow Star Wars, so I don't know what the backlash would even be about. Uh, from Sean Fallon, welcome back, you dirty, <coughs> dirty potato nagger. 
from Nick Pylor's. Don't lie, Jim. You recruited Dark Red Bandito to protect you from the Iranian super hackers, didn't you? From Bubla ZX, get a VPN to avoid DDoS. Uh, you know, actually, now that you've mentioned Dark Red Bandito, let me see if I can find this. If I can't find it quickly, we'll just go back to Super Chats, talk about a few more topics, and consider the test stream a, f a, a, a success for our upcoming Sunday Funday. But since you brought up Bandito, uh, Ross has been up to some shenanigans lately. I hear he's gone off the deep end. He's very upset. But there was some audio. Uh, he made some promises. Of course, Ross, when he makes a promise, he never will. He never will follow through with it. But let me see if I can find it. <laughs> let me see if I can find this just retarded shit from this guy. Uh, just give me one second here, chat. Yep, I found it. So if you don't remember Ross, actually, I do have one clip of him that I've always kept on in my video folder just because I, I think I did. Yeah, I did. Uh, for a reminder, anybody asking, well, who exactly is Ross uh, in all of this? I could give you the whole background story, but I think once you hear his voice, uh, you'll instantly recognize who Ross is. So let me, let me play this for you, and then we'll get into the new audio that came out about Ross. So... Basically, I'm a, first of all, basically, I'm a, basically, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, basically, and the mo first of all, basically, I'm a, I have to say is that I'm a, I don't know, first of all, I'm a, how come, like, I'm a, I, yeah, sorry, I'm with autism, I don't know how to use words that well, so, I'm a. Okay, so that's, that's Ross, hopefully that, you know, hopefully that jogs your memories, hopefully now you have kind of an idea of who I'm talking about. Well, he was in a call with uh, some nice Australians who gave him some words of encouragement about his future plans in the world. So I'll, I'll play that for you. It's, they're, they're very short. You know, 10 seconds here, 30 seconds here. Not, not a lot, but because we're talking about Red Bandito. And, of course, Ross is related to that. Well, let's, let's hear some more Ross clips. So, like, um, I also have thoughts of, like, um, fuck, fucking, like, um, fucking like ponies so like um i also have thoughts of like um fuck fucking like um fucking like ponies <laughs> so um uh basically i'm um, uh, like well i'm um, uh, basically i want to feel myself inside fluttershy so uh, ross came out recently as a brony uh, he's he has a deep lust for pony pussy, wants to feel himself. He he doesn't want friendship. He doesn't think that's what's magic. He thinks horse vaginas are magic, and Ross just wants to get deep inside of there. But he's not done yet. Now Ross has more more hot takes on shit. Probably gonna I'm probably gonna be like doing like a live stream to where I kill myself. Don't listen to the haters. Chase your dreams. Kill yourself. All right, fine. Don't listen you to the haters. Bro. Chase your dreams. That was you want you want to know Chase that was my dream since the fucking beginning was to yeah, fucking do kill it, myself. Do it, pussy bro. How are you gonna do, do, it, it? do it? Do it. Do it. How are you gonna you do won't. it? You are you gonna drink Febreze this time? You're not gonna time? chase your dreams. You won't chase your dreams. I'll fucking do it. No, you won't. It's not gonna be fucking Febreze, bro. You're a bitch. It's not gonna be fucking Febreze. I'm going to the fucking highway, right? and I'm gonna no, jump. You're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. Doing it head first. So Ross made the promise that he was going to off himself. Last time he tried to do this, he drank like three bottles of Febreze and shat himself for a day straight. Uh, but then he made the grandiose promise that he's doing it for real this time and he was going to swan dive off a highway overpass. Of course, he never did. He never follows through. But lots of uh, interesting takes. Also, not only does po or <laughs> not only does Ross like pony pussy, uh, he came out and he was a little more honest about... Uh, some of his prior statements. Just to give you an idea, this is a guy that said he worked with kids. I need you to explain something, yeah? What are, what are we, what, what's the fantasy you've got about beating a kid, then raping him? What is that about? Well, I mean, I have bloodlust for, like, you know, fucking, like, adults and, adults and, like, uh, so, children. So he has bloodlust for, you know, adults and children said the guy working at a school. Brilliant. Beautiful. The guy that wants to screw ponies and throw himself off overpasses has bloodlust for children. And one last, one last quick, quick take. Somebody brought up something I'd never heard him address, apparently. But uh, let's, let's listen to it. Oi, Ross, this is a final question. 
Are you a necrophiliac? What, you mean wanting to fuck dead people? Yes. Yeah, pretty much. You oh, God. What? Yeah, like... Now, now, oh, come on. <laughs> so, I, maybe that explains why he's got bloodlust. You, you know, he wants to murder them, then make sweet love to the corpse. That That probably explains that a little better than everything else. So that's what our friend Ross has been up to. You know, lusting after ponies. Uh, talking about throwing himself off of bridges. And just all sorts of weird shit. There's your status update since you brought up uh, Nick uh, Pilers. Since you brought up Red Dead Bandito. From Bublo ZX, get a VPN to avoid DDoS. From The Bone Zone, Niga. Uh, Zeitgeist official Papa Jim bring back... Uh, Papa Jim back from the dead to elbow drop the wheelchair wrestler. Guess I don't want to... I don't want to anger Donga and his herd of metal buffalo. He will, he'll squeaky wheel right over me. Uh, Emeritus De Silva, we got him. Uh, from Aetheris, snake thing deserves the death penalty. Baby wino boy, blacks were made when juice fumped apes. <laughs> I like, I like how people are trying very hard to circumnavigate. They're trying to like just ease their way around the restrictions Google is putting in place. Uh, VX. Phoenix, VX, there, O'Shaughnessy. Does this make me a sweetie? Uh, welcome to the club. From Fela Scout, O'Shack Hennessy. Furry open season when? Well, I, I mean, I think the police have already started the hunt. And I know that Andy is talking about going undercover at Furcons. And I know Ralph was going to do, what was it, the Killstream Kitty? So expect a lot of furry related content uh, coming your way probably within the next six months. From Rocket and Sano, greetings from Florida. Hope you get my package. The others didn't get delivered properly. This is really going to own the libs. Hashtag Gamergate 2.0. Hashtag Kekistan. From my foreskin is missing. Do they go to animal shelters to be euthanized? I, I, probably not. You don't want them going into like a, a rage lust at the end of their life and attacking the animals. From Dizzy Dizzle, Mr. Mediocre the Sweetie God, him fecking self. Hans Olfsen. Uh, what will Spurgeon do when the Patreon Gibbs dries up? Any potential employer will Google his name and see that he's a huge liability. I'm fairly sure no serious political party would want him to represent them. I, I think that's something every YouTuber is going to face, especially anybody that tries to make money doing this. It's a very limited window. That's the honest to God truth. Unless you're a PewDiePie or somebody on that scale, it's a fucking super limited window. You're going to get at most, at most, five years. And then you're going to get into DSP territory, where it's trying your best to hold on. And I think a lot of these guys don't save any of their money, so I, they find themselves fucked at the end of it. Like, a DSP is a great example. He's got two mortgages, he's got a, a car he was leasing, all these bills everywhere, but he's not sustaining the same level of income. So I don't know, if you're a YouTuber and you're making good money, save the fucking money. Or buy property outright and own it without a mortgage. And uh, you'll be grateful for the rest of your life because when it ends and you have to get a normal job, you won't be buried under a mountain of debt. Uh, that guy from that thing, waiting for my new tires, entertaining Jimbo. Uh, good luck with your new tires. Mario Carter 13, you live in the police basement now. From Mom. Smugly Leaf the Snivy. The furries must be used as lab rats for the betterment of everyone who is not fucking animals or kids. Hail the Sweetie Squad. From Dewey Donovan, trying to work you got re Get ready for the circus. Jim, how do I get a girlfriend who won't get angry when I give her a copy of The Lightning and the Sun for her birthday? <laughs> uh, best of luck. Best of luck. Uh, ease her in. Ease her into it. Groovy Snake Operation Snake Thing Eater is a success. Thanks, boss. From Jesus Banda XD, Jimbo, or Jesus Banda XD, Jimbo, I think the hubris got my last super chat. Wish me a happy birthday. It's tomorrow. Have my hard earned shekels. Well, happy birthday to you for tomorrow, Masty Plainville. Uh, these should send that furry to Gua or they should send that furry to Guantanamo Bay and subject him to no touch torture for the rest of his life. To be honest, from Power Cage, uh, Rip Terry A. Davis, Wesley Allen, or Wesley Allen, sorry. That's the first clue. Down with Scooby Doo. They killed child molesters in prison, Jim. Yeah, I don't think it's looking good for Snake Thing. I I think that uh, what always happens will happen. He might be able to sneak his way in. He'll probably be in protective custody. This is saying if he gets arrested and actually goes to jail. But then prison guards will do what prison guards always do. And uh, they will probably pass along the information to his cellmates. 
So it's a very uncomfortable time for him. Sean Fallon, God, I hope these fur fakes get the gas. Sock Puppet won. Comos are the lowest on the prison totem pole. They're all dead. From Natlin, as a fur f- I wanted to thank you for bringing this stuff to light. These people deserve to burn on a fucking cross. P.S. Screw Google censoring. Yeah, I don't know what it is with the uh, Google Moderator global feature, but they are hammering people with it. And it's very weird. It's off and on. Some people are getting nailed. Some people aren't. And they get hit for one day. They don't get hit for another day. And I lost, I lost my place there for one second. Okay, there we go. Uh, the Substantial Beard. Remember that time Carl said they're just furries? Uh, well, these people are not just furries. They are apparently being investigated by the police and arrested by the police at this point. John, can we take a pause from Spurgery and building your bully cabal one week and just shoot the shit on video games? I have to imagine the constant furry and LARPers you deal with has got to be taxing on the old almonds. I, I don't know what video games we're going to talk about. I, I think it's going to be the same conversation everybody's going to have. Everybody's going to be talking about Red Dead Redemption 2 and playing the ever-loving fuck out of it. I did watch some videos kind of comparing the versions, so if you've got an Xbox One X, uh, I guess you've got you know the premium edition. And I think the worst one was the basic Xbox, so that's a hell of a fucking... <laughs> that's a hell of a spectrum. If you got the Xbox One X, great edition. If you got the normal Xbox, I think the resolution was like 870 or something. It's some weird shit. It looks really smeary. Uh, Coffin Joe, Jim, let uh, bur- er, Jim, let's bury the furry O'Shaughnessy. Curtis D. Tyrone is my hero. Daw. Brian Paint, watch Death of Stalin. Was the USSR a gay op that didn't get exposed until it was too late? Uh, Might have been. Rocket and Sano, opening that drive is going to be like the Ark of the Covenant. If computers don't know how to scream, it will learn. Omnisia, have mercy on its spirit. From Lesbian, getting, gra- or getting graped in jail is probably a bonus for them. I don't think so. I don't think this is going to be... I can't show it on... I can't show this on stream. Uh, there is one picture out there of a dude who was like... It's, I think it's in South America. It's a dude who was a serial rapist. He gets arrested and brought into a holding cell or wherever the fuck they're holding him. Uh, his cellmates find out that he's like a serial rapist. And there's a picture of what he looked like after that. And it's nothing but him facing the wall. And then the back of his pants are just covered in pure blood and shit. And like he can barely stand up. The guards are having to hold him up. So I don't think this is going to be a pleasant experience, even if they were expecting it to be. Uh, Mad K. Locke. Only good furry is a dead furry. Press G to gas. Church of Failure. Jim, would you or would it piss you off if I sold five-star hats? Joey Jojo. Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. From HTRTU. Kesha is a crack whore. I dare you to say that on Twitter. Apparently making jokes about Kesha will get you shit kicked very quickly. Trues. Shit rat. Yes, a David shit rat will be a major focus this Sunday. Uh, tune in to find out. My foreskin is missing. Jim, do I have permission to shill merch or to shill merch the hat? I uh, know, but you can make your own, which I've you know told people they should probably make. Baroness Thompson, I've been telling you, uh, I've been telling all my in real life friends that watch your videos that you actually that handsome older gentleman. So far, they've all believed me. Well, they need to buy my book, because Wall Street financing is important to understand, and whether I'm the old man or his son, they have great financial insights that will help people accumulate wealth and millennials get out of the debt cycle. Errant Vice, can you say James Matthew Drake is not straight? Uh, there you go. Matthew Harder, Daddy Jim, don't you think chat went through, but... Oh, Daddy Jim, don't think my chat went through, but have the extra shekels. Thank you for all the sweeties you've helped with the snake thing. Keep it up, still more degenerates left. I'd say the snake thing was uh, mostly like a Kiwi thing and other people going after them. I mean, that's... Uh, they've been doing that. But again, they've got updates in the animal control sub-forum. And I, like Noel said, I, I'm pretty sure it's a featured thread. Jaegerbaum, what is up with almost every fandom these days doubling down uh, by covering for horrific actions? Keep up the good work and way to go on getting justice. You know, I, I again, I go back to what I said. I think everybody hated furries and then bronies came along. And I, I'll tell you this, bronies are better than furries, in my opinion, at this point. Uh, but bronies were so, just obnoxious in the new thing, so everybody shit on them. But they kind of stopped paying attention to what furries were doing. And furries went insane in the meantime and got really open about what they were doing. I mean, you don't hear stories every day about bronies decapitating puppies and, you know, fucking their corpses. 
but that's shit that's coming from the furry camp. Uh, Rocket and Sano, when we work together, it's much better. The Madness 36, how do we grow underwater potatoes at your lake house? Can the Irish even swim? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's a good question. Can you grow potatoes underwater? I will have to ask the man that's working on the Hampshire if when he's done with his uh, robotic tanks and underwater aquatic habitats, if he can try underwater potato growing as well. Mobile Crusader, if they murder peds in jail, imagine what they do to the ones who kill animals too. Yeah, it's not going to be a, a bright, sunny time for them. JC Bailey, here's the free fitty to support your alcoholism. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, there we go. Uh, all right, almost lost my place. HTRTU, no gods or kings, only hamsters. Rolo B3, or B312. Hey, Jumbo, here's five good boy points to give your opinion on the furries infesting that stupid TikTok app. I don't know what the fuck TikTok is. Somebody asked me about this on Twitter. Uh, they said, what do you think about the growing anti-life uh, movement on TikTok? And I, I gave some dumb joke answer and said, well, I don't really think you should kill yourself to Kesha music, but if you feel that strongly about it, uh, that's all I, I, I don't know what it is. I'm not following it. I have no idea what the app does. I don't know who the user base is. I'm just, remember, I'm an old man. I don't know if you've seen my book. I've got my picture on the cover. Kami Catcher 5000, Hamtaro, Ham Hams, Unite as Individualist. True's Bioshock Hamster Edition. The Joe Blow Show. Is an aquatic hamster not entitled to the sweat of its brow? Yes, it absolutely is. The government needs to fuck off. These hamsters have a right to live the way they want to live in Rapture. Uh, they, they can do whatever they want, and they've got robotic tanks. If you try to fuck with them, they're going to take your ass down. From Ryan Krupa. Cheers to you being back. Have you ever considered jumping on Critical Penguin's official podcast just for the fuck of it? Regardless, here's some uh, bar boy shekels. Much love from Wisconsin. Uh, yeah, I've watched Critical's uh, content before, but people ask, are you going to go on this podcast? Would you go on this podcast? These people don't know who I am. I'm just, I, I'm the guy in my own little corner talking about furries and skeptics and shit like that, and then doing Sunday Funday streams. I doubt I'd be invited on. If I was, I probably would go on his uh, but I'm not I'm, I'm not like a networking guy. I don't go on a lot of podcasts. Just the shit I usually watch. That's why I hop on Killstream, because I watch Killstream. Uh, from Vinny S., I choose something different. I choose the impossible. I choose Hampshire. Marcus Aulius. Hey, Jim. Snake thing's been arrested. Cop sees his computers and phones. Yeah, it's going to be a disastrous time for him. Hashtag, hashtag GG 2.0 is here. Real men challenge other people to fights and then make ridiculous stipulations to make sure they can call you a fag if you don't agree to it at all. Well, you know, here's the thing. Well, I'm going to save it for Sunday. <laughs> I'm going to save all that ridiculous shit for Sunday. I've got a lot of the audio clipped out. It's nice and tight. It's to the point. It's good. That's what we want. Sound bites that move and are speedy. Uh, so I will save that for Sunday, and we'll talk about all the fighting and all the stipulations and all that dumb shit. But, I, you know, if I can... I will buy the streaming rights to their stupid fight. I will buy the streaming rights to their stupid fight so I can make super chat money off of it while they beat each other up. And if I get streaming rights for that fight, I will allow anybody else to stream it as well. If I own the rights to stream that particular fight, anybody else can restream it. I don't give a fuck. But we'll see. We'll see what kind of money Loy wants. Uh, Ten bucks too. Pause my nag hole with the tainted potato, you goofy mech. Ryan Koopa also thank fucking God for snake things arrest. Fucking fagots. From Maximus Smith, what would you do if a League of Evil made up of Spax, Jeb Bush, Sargon, and DSP came to attack you? I'd probably laugh because it's not going to really do much. I think Jeb Bush might be the most dangerous of the bunch because he's got little little marble turtles in his pocket he can throw his projectiles. From Indriat Bakta, I butchered the name, I'm sure. Sangi Navidus is yet another one of these feminist predator types. Him talking to Snake Thing is in, in that conversation exposes what they both were really like. Yeah, there were a lot of people involved in those conversations. I have a feeling the police will put pressure on him, they'll find stuff on his computer, and he will flip on other people, which will give them a reason to get a warrant and go after them. And it'll be like a chain reaction. From one guy, it'll spread out in a radius out to multiple people, and those multiple people will spread out in a radius. And you'll get a better idea of how bad it is. But that will take months and months. They've got to investigate and do all this other shit. Atlas Era 2101, in the year 2057, hamsters rule the seas. Schlong Donger, we need Donald Trump to tweet about Hampshire to trigger the libs. We need to own the libs. We need to trigger the libs, as Monday Matt would say. 
And we need to get him on to Tucker Carlson so he can save the West. From Gondola Gondola, hey Jim, if you are still an architect and or build fix shit, fix my roads, you mick. <laughs> I'm sorry, after they harassed my phone girl, I gave up my life of being an architect. This is a very sorry, I can't help you. From Ray Gillette, how do I sign up to be your special... How do I sp sign up to your special YPGA studio? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Hollywood Nights, Jim, please tell me if I'm white. I can't tell anymore. Uh, do you have a Bavarian phenotype? That's the first place you need to start. Trump Nation, did you see Richard Spencer's new girlfriend on uh, Dr. Phil? I could really have used your commentary last night on the kill stream. Yes, I saw her. Uh, and I'm convinced that's a troll. I think that might be the first successful woman troll I've ever seen. Uh, I just, I don't believe, I don't believe she's that stupid or delusional. I think she's just fucking with Dr. Phil because it's funny. And she's really fucking committed to it. Life, Death, Rebirth, $2, yo, uh, Bank Heads, Kangs. Alex Blackfoot, in before another shit rat ex machina. Hollywood Nights, Jim, I don't know if I'm white anymore. Please help. I think, I think you've already asked me this one. You've asked twice. The WMD himself, you still going to do the Money Badger series? Uh, yeah, I still plan on covering MRAs. Rocket and Sino, you notice Sargon has basically abandoned English politics in favor of daily Monday news reports. Well, when he's not talking about shit about you or Ralph. Uh, he probably noticed uh, he probably noticed the success of Ralph in the kill stream, which covers the news every night. And when he sees that many viewers watching a show that frequently, that's what he sees as the new thing to latch on to. So he's just drum he's jumping on to a new trend. Mark McCall st stab King Tom? Okay. Hollywood Nights, Jim, read my super chat. I have to diarrhea. Uh, best of luck. HCR to you. Whatever guardian angel piss rat has, he pales in comparison with Couch Cucks, <laughs> with Couch Cucks Angel. This motherfucker doesn't let you make a video on him even long after Couch Cucks death. Yeah, I have a lot of fucking projects I want to work on. Um, you know, I, I don't know where to start. I've, I've got like five different things to track down, but at least there's shit that makes stuff on. So that's always good. Ink Panification, what is going on, my Nigerian prince? Did downloading German porn mess up your hard drive? Uh, no, it was an accident. I got a virus. That's why my pants are falling down when I got up off the chair. It was only a virus, I swear. Groovy Snakes, Millington called his own wife a faggot. Based. Yes, he did in the audio. He did call his wife a faggot. Uh, Slammer Eye Jam Down, your video games list from last time confirms we both share shit taste. Truly, Japanese PS2 video is the master race. From Trump Nation, simple solution to the Blues Clues problem: musical art contest. Maybe, maybe I'll maybe I'll give that a shot. Coolator Jim, while you were away, Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight passed away. Sorry that this is how you have to hear about it. Uh, clearly a tragedy. Rocket and Sano, go and make the legend come alive again. Blackout, the stream lacks art and suits and stank. Surplus of chairs and enough internet though. I heard Sergan has literally no chairs or acorns. Is he chairless? That's good to know. A-RM. That dude has CIA background and odd links. I think we're talking about um, Caesar Soyak. I can't I don't know how you pronounce the last name. Uh, it is weird. A lot of shit about that is really weird. I will, I will give you that. From Ghost7. Just had a disc replaced in my hard drive. Still less painful than that fur fag shit. Oh, and I'm sorry. I was like, why would it be? I'm sorry. Just had a disc replaced in my back. Still less painful than that fur fag shit. That makes much more sense. Blue Satoshi Boomer Bombers from Cold Steel Cruise County. Mark Derberg. Thank you for grooming me, Jim. I feel violated, but in a good way. I am truly a better shitlord today because of you and your kindness. 345782. Does your wife know this is also a minority megapede? Since she had to vote and got you docs, it has to be a small community of them. I'm trying to... Does you want, this is also a minority megapede, is it? Oh, are you asking how big the community of Trump voters in Minnesota? Minnesota was a pretty pretty close state. I mean, at the end, it went it went blue. But it, it was for a while there, it was close to going red. It's a very mixed state at the moment. And I don't... You know what? In fact, let me... <laughs> this is a good segue into this, so fuck it, why not? Uh, let me find this clip, because if I <laughs> if I tell you about it, you're not gonna. I'm sure everybody's seen this. There's no way you couldn't have. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna have to find it on YouTube because I want to play the whole thing. Uh, one second, one second while I find Mr. Dumpster Fire. Since we're talking about Minnesota politics, and this is a guy I believe in the DNC. 
fairly certain this guy is from the DNC. <laughs> I, I really, I, everything about this guy, I fucking love. Just this, this ad reminds me, if anybody watched Upright Citizens Brigade, there's an actor in that who played a, I'm, I'm almost a hundred fucking percent certain he played a politician. And when I first saw this, I thought this guy was making fun of that or he was like playing along with it. But no, it's a real political ad. It's Richard Painter. So I'll show you, you want to know what Minnesota politics are like? I will show you what Minnesota politics are like. Uh, let me put this up on window capture. There we go. This is uh, this dumpster fire. Here we go. Some people see a dumpster fire and do nothing but watch the spectacle. Some are too scared to face the danger. Or they think it will benefit them if they just let it keep on burning. Others shrug and say, Oh, all this talk of a dumpster fire, it's just fake news. There is an inferno raging in Washington. But here in the land of 10,000 lakes, we know how to put out a fire. I am Richard Painter, and I approve of this. Look <laughs> at the intensity on this dude's face. Dumpster fire. I got uh, dumpster fires in Minnesota. I put them out. I just, I don't even know what his fucking politics are. But that, that commercial, I want to vote for him. It's just so ridiculous. It's an Upright Citizens Brigade sketch. There's no way this is a real thing. This has to be, this guy is fucking around. There's no way it's real. But he's, <laughs> this fucking ad for the Senate. That's his Senate commercial. Rich, dumpster fire. I love everything about that. In fact, let me, let me see if I can, uh, I, if anybody actually watched the show, uh, UCB, I'm sure you know the guy I'm talking about, and I'm, I'm, I know that clip is out there somewhere. I want to do a comparison side by side. He looks like that dude dressed up as a politician, and I'm fucking certain he did a skit like this. Okay, there, there you go. Uh, there's your there's your Minnesota politics. Uh, from Beck's Fire, boy, it's mega convenient for the Dems and left-wing press that the jailbird and registered Republican would send fake bomb threats to top Dems just as midterm outcomes were looking great for his party. Uh, skullfucker, Carl, if she'll... <laughs> Carl, if she's four, I'll make her sore Benjamin. From Groovy Snake Boomers, it's time to rise the heck up. Joey Jojo Joe, how is your 3DS gaming going? Do you play the Senra, uh, Senran Kagura games? Did you hear that uh, about Sony demanding devs censor anime titty games? I've not played those games, no. Uh, but I am familiar with the Japanese... Oh, not just American, it's right. It's uh, Sony America and Sony Japan. They both agreed they want they want games censored. Anything that uh, appeals to uh, a straight male's sexuality, they want they want to start censoring. At least that's those are the caps I saw going around. I haven't really kept up with it. It's retarded. It's retarded that you can see more tits and ass on the Nintendo Switch than you can on a Sony PlayStation. What the fuck are they doing? From Baca Bear, hey Caesar's background check is right here. Uh, Dame Dame, 7 a.m. in Australia, best morning show. Ashley M. And how was the Goblin Slayer Jimbo? I liked it. I did like it. Uh, there were only two episodes up. I don't know if there are more up. I saw them on YouTube. Watch the first one where he, he fucking eradicates them. Uh, the chick gets, she gets gang raped, and then he shows up and he starts fucking slaughtering. He goes after the little baby goblins. That uh, was good shit. I, I would probably watch that uh, if there were more episodes. Pissed off Otaku, this should be enough for a box of Lucky Charms. Thank you. Victor Phantasm, boss, there was a YouTuber named uh, PK Russell stating Kirill was innocent in the beginning. Then he hid behind a comment name dropping you as agreeing with him. Is he purely kick or clickbait or trolling thoughts? I, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. I, again, one, now that Snake Thing has been arrested, if Kiro is related to any of this shit, if he really did say more than he's letting on, there's probably records of it on Snake Thing's computer. So Kiro's probably fucked. I'd watch, I'd pay attention to Kiro's behavior over the next couple of weeks. If he's spooked, it'll show. From HDRTU, the secret is quite simple. Uh, Kirillics are bane of any word filter's existence. Sumio Bizarro, I love Edocast. Wishing doxing was fake and gay. Rock and Sano, try a Moscow mule, comrade. It's good. And then also from Rock and Sano, Ross wants a new job as a speed bump, I think. Uh, best of luck in his new career path. Bix and Boxen, Ross is a virgin with rage. <laughs> uh, yes, he, he actually said that. He actually said that verbatim. So, uh, yes, he is. Uh, Kumbala, 
I've smelled like Thomas before, you know, one stinks bad. I've smelled like Thomas before. You know, one stinks bad and they fart and it doesn't even smell because the overall funk is so bad it overpowers the fart. Jade 10, love your stuff. Here's some cookies for you from Commandant or Commandant Prepper or Pepper. Take this as a kick fund me donation as I was late. John H. Freeman, can you call Kevin Kuza Macaroni a nerd for me? Kevin, you are a nerd. D. McGurkin, did you watch Million Dollars Extreme before they got banned? I'm talking about Adult Swim. Yeah, I watched the shit out of that. And then I watched all the clips that were up on uh, YouTube of it. I still don't know why Adult Swim would get rid of that show. It was really, really fucking popular. And I blame that fucking idiot. Um, What the fuck is his name? I'm blanking on it now. He did Tom Goes to the Mayor. Yeah, everybody knows who I'm talking about. Uh, Tim Heidecker? That's, That's who it is. I really do think he was politicking behind the scenes to get that show closed down and to fuck... To fuck over everybody involved in it. From Ouija STI, I remember Geek Thulu defended Ross, and now he's Andy's best buddy. Well, Geek Thulu, I don't know how much audio he'd need of Ross repeatedly saying that he's a pedophile and wants to kill people. From Lear Ill, Nicole Sheena Orne Duquette indirectly caused the death of her husband, Monty Ohm, Rooster Teeth animator, and took all donations for herself. I, I know Monty Ohm was the one that did the uh, Dead or Alive versus Final Fantasy Girls, right? Like, I remember watching that shit back in the day. Um, Yeah, it sucks that he's dead, because those videos were good. Nicole, gentlemen, um, basically, um, um, uh, basically, I'm, uh, um, um, I'm basically have this. Mike Thomas, goblins literally did nothing wrong. Goblin Slayer is a (laughs) soy-filled white knight. Goblins are innocent. They didn't do nothing. From Bees123, I had to kill a mouse last night to keep my pets healthy and was somewhat traumatized since it was the first sentient life I took. How could you possibly get enjoyment out of this? They deserve gassing. Well, yeah, you got disgusted after killing it. Uh, They would have gotten aroused. That's the main difference. Dean Watt, you say tomato, I say potato. Monday, Matt says, to own the libs, trigger the libs. Rocket and Sano, I-W-T-C-I-R-D, hashtag cloppers rise up. From Nicholas Cruiser, uh, Caesar Caesar Soyzak, (laughs) Caesar Soyak, a accessory, a scarce soy, a cozy scare. Ass race coy. This rabbit hole plunges into the void. Oh, hold on. Almost, uh, we're just working our way through these. Again, this was meant to be a test stream to make sure everything worked right. And uh, it seems to. So we are good for Sunday Fun Day. Good for everything going forward. I don't think I'll have any issues with this. Oh, where are we? Okay. Get ready for the circus. Ross wants to put it in everything, but a woman his own age. Winky, is it a winky face or frowny face? That looks like a thinking frown. HTRTU, Ross, a zoo, <laughs> a zoo necro pedophily. That works in an elementary school. We live in a society. Fourth dimension. Turns out Boomer Bomber is just another Indian running gay ops. Genetic. It might be a genetic component. I don't know. Maybe they threw him out of the casino <laughs> and he got really mad about it. From the Commandant again, Guten Tag, Mr. Medicare. Commandant here. We are very interested in performing some Nazi medical experiments on Ross. Please send him to base 211. <laughs> I'm sure he would willingly go because he's an idiot. Uh, no step on snack. And he's going to beat Tonka like Spencer beats his wife. Ashley M. Crazy how autists online care more about doxing you than doxing an actual pedophile that has the capacity of putting children in danger. From Atlas Shrugged, all these big YouTubers not investing their money in properties for big passive income. Short-sighted fools. From XY, XIY3N, pedos and zoophiles should have their human rights revoked and be put through social or er, science experiments that don't pass ethic committees. From FLC Camera, good thing that guy was less competent than two kids in a pressure cooker. Blue Satoshi Sargon's live want to stream snipe. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Battleman 3, people, to, uh, people today are disgusting freaks and I once had a threesome with my parents. <laughs> okay. Guns down in hell. How do I finger girls? Jimbo, please explain. Well, you got to angle yourself just right. It's really, it's really about the angle of approach. It's, it's a mathematical thing. Davic Quest, will you be attending YouTube's first ever handicap match, the Stone Cold Stutter versus Sid and Spin? <laughs> uh, no, I will not be attending, but I'm going to get those streaming rights, and I'm going to share it with the world. From Mechazard, what did I miss? Also, thanks for the entertainment, you Irish boomer. Nathan Black, if I come with... The- <laughs> If I come with shit, you must acquit Nick Bates. 
from Cam and Pikachu. Gas is skeptics. Fanfic, it's my birthday tomorrow too. Well, uh, wish me well, damn it. Uh, well, happy birthday. All star apologist, one v one me in Soul Calibur Six scrub. I bet you won't. I don't. I don't have Soul Calibur Six, so I couldn't one v one you. Patrick Abramson, I think the proper way of dealing with the sick fur fags is to give them the full Mister Hands treatment. Uh, you might be onto something. Zombie Siegel, the furries will burn in hell. Hail Satan forever. From Mike Derberg, Jim Jugal is butt hurt because you groom me. I am the shit lord I am today because of you. You have, or you have inspired me. Are you have been an inspiration to me, fam? Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mecha Flare Zero, Kiwi Josh swears your docs is real. Is that right, James? P.S. Need some investment advice. I'm also a dumb millennial. Well, it's always smart to invest your money. And I already did a stream saying the docs were real. That was the first stream I did. I swear, maybe people were expect like wailing and gnashing of teeth. Maybe I should get on my knees and cry. <laughs> what were they expecting? From Titus Press F. Speaking of rats living under the sea, Jim, it's Titus from Tales from the Trough. I know you're busy, but Skeptic Tale is a Bioshock parody, and you are my for or fountain. It'll only take a sec. Please add me at from. Uh, okay, I got you. Stay blessed, sir. I will. I will hit you up when I get a chance. A E I O U. Here's five dollars from your 26 year old miner. Thanks for grooming me for all these years, big boss. From Rubbishy Crap, Sargoy just started streaming. Amazing coincidence, that. Lyric L, you can get custom hats at the mall like at Lids. From Noble Savage, did you watch that... What is this? Did you watch the Bart Baker Kenshia parody, Chick Cock? Uh, I sent it to you on Twitter. If not, enjoy. I will check that out. Now, we're getting near the end of the Super chat, so thank you for sticking around. I'll answer the last of these, and then we'll move on. Uh, Alcaros... You should go on Why or uh, Your Movie Sucks podcast. He's actually a fan of yours. From Icarus. Hey, Big Boss. Always been a huge fan of your content. Glad to see the Spurgs didn't keep you down for long. Sweetie Squad, rise up. From Vintage Chuckle. Who's the first person of interest for your Skeptic series? Also, did you hear Andy's proposition on Donga? I am familiar with the fight being set up. I mean, they've got the details, it seems like, hammered out. So I can't imagine that's going to fall through. If, if everything is being set up by somebody else, right... If this fight is set up for the 19th, if these two are really going to do this dumb shit, then there should be no excuse going forward. I can imagine no excuse now to stop this from happening, right? Whoever bails out at this point is the pussy. They're, everything is set up, and the fight is ready to go. So Tonka wants to talk about Wrestle Wrestle in real life. I really hope he shows up, because <laughs> it's going to be entertaining. Uh, Rocket and Sano, I used to partially run BronyCon. The most degenerate furries became bronies, and we had to chase them out. Don't know where they went after that. Uh, they probably went back to their fucking dungeons where they torture innocent little puppies. Snobby Lion, Jim, I'm in love with your sexy-ass voice. Sweeping hamster, news on the false flag on fake news CNN. Uh, yeah, I've been reading the pull threads all day about it and following the hashtag and all that shit. Uh, again, I'm sure that's, that's more Ralph's kind of thing, so I'm sure he will cover it more in depth. Uh, let's see. Robotnik12, play, uh, please play this song during breaks if you're talking about the gay ops. I promise you won't be disappointed. I'll check it out. From Zesso, what do you think smells worse? Tommy Ellington's chair or Jeff Holliday's bed? I'm going to guess Ellington's chair. Like, if you have to have somebody physically confront you and say, give me my fucking chair back, your ass is literally making it smell so bad we have to burn it, then you've reached, like, that's like a new level of stink. That's like, you've surpassed Oscar the Grouch, and that motherfucker lived in a trash can. Ray Gillette, let me try again. How do I sign up for your special yoga, oh, special yoga studio? I'm sorry. It's a restricted membership. From Dobu, 11K after a DDoS, 13K uh, on the off-the-cuff return stream. Welcome, Batch. I'll catch the stream after work. Chucky Arla. Energy's X, what was your opinion on Chris Poole? Uh, Chris Poole. I'm not. I'm not familiar with the name. Who could Chris? Who could Chris Poole be? What? What are we talking about here? Let me. Let me Google check that. Huh? Chris Poole. Chris Poole. Who's Chris Poole? Oh. Oh, moot. <laughs> Why are you asking my opinion on him right now? He's. Isn't he? Last I remember, he left the website. He sold the website off. And then, did he ever marry the the chick that worked? She worked at Google, didn't she? Isn't he working at Google now? I don't even know what the fuck he does at this point. It's probably off building an app or something. Uh, Rocktar Shaniquist. Whoa, Vicky is a decent troll, too. Charlie Willis. 
spend all the time waiting for appetizers and find my waiter is out docking people. Shake my head, Applebee's one fourth a star. C uh, came in Pikachu, you listen to King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. <laughs> no, I don't think I have. Weasel the Historian, Sigile from ML Poll. Sincerely, Lunafag. Mash Bash, thanks for the Friday fun time, fellows Irishmen. All right, and we're finally reaching the end of the list here. Uh, it just jumped ahead a second. Uh, there we go. From the Commandant, Ach, I forgot to mention that Herr Doctor Megala's brain would like to sew Ross and Snake Thing together for science. Mail them and we will post postage, or pay postage. A very generous offer. From Innisfed, uh, Caesar Soyek is an anagram for accessory. Weird, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is very bizarre. Except you're missing an extra A. It would be A accessory. Uh, guns down, inhale. Jim, if you'd like old PC games, check out LGR. I actually watch him. Lazy Game Reviews. I'm subscribed. Lima Dirk, fact, you get your jollies by stealing Ellington's bars of Irish soap and shaving off pieces in front of waterfalls. We're on to you, Seamus. Carlos Pena, is the reason Keith Ellington's wife beating him is being ignored by the mainstream mo or media is because it's expected of Muslims. That is a good, I don't know. Uh, they're jumping on any story they can right now, and I think you're going to hear in the news cycle probably for the next week straight, well, you know what, two weeks straight, until the midterms, about our little uh, accessory and his Trump van and his pipe bombs that don't function. Andy M, okay to get your vote, make uh, cringy ads. I, I That fucking ad is... I, I, it's perfect. It's just amazing that he... I, I don't even... You would think his campaign manager would sit him down and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck is this? We can't put this on television. And he did it anyway. Vladimir M. Ivanovic. UCB and LA banned Dick Masterson for rape apology. Charlie Willis. Also, what are your thoughts on the Enclave? Scary individuals. From Fred Richards. Thank you. Sinjin Lee. A while back, you said you were looking for or into Anime News Network and the weird stuff happening there after Pika Pedos. What kind of stuff did you find? Uh, again, one of those things where I start doing something and then I've got retards jumping in front of me. Ends up distracting me. Uh, Green2666. Hey, Jim, sorry about the doxing. Love your edgy tier content. Tripping on Skuma. Sony niggers, blown the fuck out. A-RM. Uh, stream snipe that glow-in-the-dark white Nog Sargon. Jessica Lyon. Thanks for the impromptu stream, Daddy. Jim GM. Pretty great birthday present for me. Looking forward to the Sunday stream. Tip of left hands, Polox. Three times Sargon's number on a weekday and no schedule. Frankie Joseph, here's my super duper chat. From Dan or Daniel Omitted. Andy should do a shit ton of coke before the fight. Philly love. How sure are we that Hampshire is referring to Bioshock, not Soma? Uh, well, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's because it's called Hampshire. It's supposed to be a play on, <laughs> why? Maybe I, I, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> maybe he's the world's biggest Soma fan. Uh, Redis the Riot Act. Ice Bank, my, or Ice Bank Mice Elf a lot. Ice Bank. Mice Elf a lot. <laughs> you want me to say I spank myself a lot? Well, there you go. 3,000 Angry Bees. I donated just to ask if the Surgun of Applebee's art still is on. Uh, enjoy the Shekels Jimbo. And then finally from Bixen Boxen. Pools closed. Uh, yeah, we'll do the next art contest uh, this Sunday, like I said. Sunday, fun day. Art contest, Donga Andy fight, and Shit Rat. That's the entirety of it. We'll do the judging. The winner gets paid. And they get their nice prize, finally. And then we will do an art contest for next Sunday, Fun Day. And just continue it on off out into uh, perpetuity. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, so I'll set out the rules for what's coming up. Because the art contest kept getting delayed uh, due to all the crazy shit. So we're good to go. Sunday, Fun Day, art contest. Get the results. Set up the rules for the next one. Which will be probably what you've already heard. And then we'll wait till the next Sunday and judge that. And just it'll always be spaced out by a week. I got two more that came in real quick. Uh, the Nickerman YMS is a furry, and I don't, I think, didn't denounce Kiro. He's a furrogate. Also, Jim, what is your favorite Smash game? Later, laddie. I, I don't really have, I'm not a big Smash player, so I don't really have a favorite Smash game. Sorry to disappoint. And Rocket Matt Coon. That's fucking based. All right, well, the test stream did it, I think. I haven't gone down once, didn't have any audio issues, didn't have any stream issues. Seems to have displayed just fine. I think we've got our solution. This Sunday, funny. Donga and Andy, uh, the Donga art contest, and finally, fucking finally, David Shitrat. Uh, going forward, I am doing a skeptic video series. I will 
be taking my time on that, but trust me, it will be thoroughly done. And uh, normal videos will come out normally now that everything is finally calmed the fuck down. And uh, <laughs> as far as Ellington goes, <laughs> I don't know what the... If he wants to debate me one-on-one, -on -one, you know, we can meet on the kill stream. How's that for neutral ground? Uh, never face up with one-on-one. -on -one. I'll, I'll meet you on the kill stream, Ellington, if you want to uh, have a conversation. I'm sure Ralph wouldn't mind. <laughs> so there you go. Everybody else, uh, thank you for coming out. Have a good afternoon. I will see you this Sunday, fun day. I, I'm trying to like find the perfect time to do it. If I do it too late, everybody in Europe gets pissed off and the Australians get pissed off. So uh, we will shoot for 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern. So this Sunday, fun day, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I think that's fair enough. I think that uh, should work for everybody. It's a Sunday afternoon after church, you know, so people will have time to enjoy it. Uh, thank you for coming out. Hope you enjoyed the test stream. We're good to be back on track. Everything seems to be fixed, working, fan-fucking-tastic. Look forward to the skeptic videos coming out when they come out, and they will be coming out. Look forward to the shit rat super stream this Sunday, Funday, at 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern,